This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I'm doing part 2 of the Tunjilul Tank Alliance. So basically today we're going to take a look at uh, GT... No, hold on. This one is uh, WWT36. I could say what WWT means in French to some of us, but it's vulgar and I won't repeat it. But this is a uh, nice, I say it's purple, my son says it's marine blue. I'm colorblind and I don't care. But he looks really good. So we're going to take a look at this guy today. Uh, like I said, he's the crotch area of the combined mode. And I'm probably going to start naming these guys different names. Um, you know, like this guy could be Jean-Guy. That, that could be a name for a tank. Uh, but I... I don't, I, you know, just having fun. So there you go. So this is going to be the review for today. Um, but before I do so, make sure you check out the voice acting playlist, my main, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. Sorry, I'm babbling. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And you can get 10% at the end of the video with a discount code. And now let's roll the intro. Right, uh, review number two of WWT36. So that's going to be this guy here. Um, check out uh, my review of GT37. Uh, link's going to be while well, it's in the same playlist, so you'll be able to find it. Uh, but I'll put a link here. This is the instruction. So like uh, the last review, I'm going to do tank the robot and then back robot the tank. So, because I'm guessing not a lot of people have these, not a lot of people in my circle will review these. So, I might as well do longer reviews, but that's going to help um, everybody. And I have to remember to put that in the comment that I have all the transformation. And then after that, I'm going to do the, the crotch area mode. which So, basically, ease the long haul of the group. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, there you go. This is WT, WWT36. Love the paint. Um... Like I said, I think this is of a purplish type. My son says it's marine blue or another type of blue. The problem is that we're never going to get along because I'm colorblind, so don't care. Uh, I love the mold on the details. All the little rivets on the tread and the wheels, the silver highlight looks really good. Little highlight here. You have some, I don't know, ridges, guns, whatever. Looks good. All the, the back end, oh, mistransform, well, misclipped. Come on, there you go. I uh, love the, I guess, not fuel tank, but maybe it's a flamethrower, you know, a gas tank or a compressor of some sort. I don't know. Not a car guy, not a tank guy. You know, the back, the underneath cleans up really, really well. Um, I love the treads, you know. Uh, the same problem as with all of these guys, no wheels. So that's a little disappointing. Uh, we could have used a couple of wheels so that, that we can roll around, but it didn't stop my son, my youngest, to just grind them. Um, and this is the uh, the front area with the headlight. Looks really good. A little mini cannon here, and you have the uh, the door on top. Um, you know, it would have been fun if they actually you know move. Uh, you have the same, you know. It's not even a rotate. Well, it's a rotation, but it's not on itself. It's like at the end, so kind of looks goofy. Uh, but you have the small cannon uh, up like this, down like this. All right. So now let's do transformation. This guy is a little different. This is the front, but he transformed from the back. So what you want to do is the same thing. Open this up, remove the peg here and unfold it on the joint. Once you have that done, you want to put it like that and unfold the, hold on, am I wrong? Nope. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. So you unfold the legs, so that's easy. And then you, same as the other, you flip 
that pin into that hole like this so now your arms are freed you hold on you want to unhook this reveal the head he's a nice you know they all have different head sculpts so that's pretty neat and then after that him you see oh no he stays there but there's um, there's a line here and these pegs are gonna go inside it so it's stable so there you go uh, all right so now you want to lift this as you did with the others this moves so uh, hold on am I wrong oh no his hand is hidden here that's right so you unfold it like that Make sure you keep this uh, tread panel open so you don't want to break it. And then once you have that, you clip it, you rotate it, and now you have the hand. So you can, you know, move this back a little bit if you want to have a freer hand. But this one is probably, um, he looks a little goofier, I guess, than the others. All right, so repeat on the other side. So. Flip this on the inside, keep it, um, you know, outside the range of this, the other tread so that it flips backward and then turn it all around, push it down, push this back, move it forward. And there you go, you have your two arms and you know, this one has a little more kibble on his arm and even his legs and the legs. Oh, I'm gonna need a spudger, hold on. All right, so. I hate doing this, but I don't have an actual spudger, so you can, you know, if you have nails, you can, oh, well, oh, miracle, I guess they grew a quarter of an inch, because last time I had to get, well, all right, wasted time finding these, so there you go, so let's, uh, that's a prop, not a problem, but it's something I've noticed with these guys, they pop uh, a lot, so you can, yeah, I'm playing with the panel here, because you can be either leave it, Put it back there if you want after you transform the hand so that the kibble goes away. So and it still looks good, but it enters a little bit of the uh, you know articulation, which I completely did not do with GT37. So there you go. You have your Ferris wheel, no problem. And then you do have a merry-go-round all around it. You have, you move the arm, you do have a Johnny Cage, so that's awesome. And you have your knee band, and then this one has extra, you know, articulation at the tie because of the transformation. And then the toe moves just a little bit. So they're not superbly articulated, but it does the job. I mean, this guy looks great. And I love the face sculpt. You know, taking a look at the detail, the paint details on the face is good. You know, it doesn't have a mouth. They pretty much all have plates, except the combined mode. Um, yeah, see here? Well, you could probably draw a mouth there. He doesn't, he seems to have a chin rather than a, a plate. Uh, but they all have a little symbol, you know, but there's no lore to these guys that I know of. Maybe they're, you know, there's a lot of animation in Korea, Japan and everything. So they could be another series that just never came over here. Well, I'm glad the toy did. Um, at least, you know, the back end, you know, translate uh, as a big chest. Uh, love the detail on the belt. You know, the gold and the silver on the dark gray looks really good. And, you know, the paint you could use. I'm, you know, I'm wishing. And I know it's just a wish, but I wish Toy Hacks would do a set for these guys. That would be just something awesome. But, I mean, risk versus reward or revenue versus investment. Not sure it's worth it. So there you go. That's WWT uh, 30 something, 36. And now I'm going to give him his gun if I can find it in this uh, pile here. Because there's something I haven't shown yet that I do want to show everybody eventually. But not just yet. There it is. That's his gun according to the instructions. So if you want to put the gun though, you have to flip that tab up or else you don't get get enough clearance. So there you go. This is WWT 37, 36, sorry, with his gun. And, you know, same comparison as yesterday. 
now that we know about the size he's just he's taller than the deluxe but about um you know a head less than uh optimus who's a wild well, voyager but a leader with a trailer so voyager so there you go let's remove the gun set it aside and this one we're going to put in uh back in tank mode so um flip the feedback in flip this like that take the arms clip this back in um turn it around and lift this up and uh, i guess not i guess oh uh, no there you go all right it's less complicated to just do everything in one shot so there you go and then this pin here and goes in there once you're ready to well let's go you're gonna take the head you're gonna put the head back down flip the canopy up i know i'm keep calling it a canopy and i don't know if that's the proper term uh and then oh yeah he's back in so there you go flip this back up put it like this and clip everything together make sure that here you have the little tabs are going to go back into the little holes there you go we're back in tank mode and from this well basically what uh, is shown on the instruction is to take this you know unhook them as usual and then while this is facing this way you want to unfold the legs like this put this up like sorry like that so the, it looks like this and then you want to separate this and do this here so this is to me looks highly inspired by long haul and then after that you want to unclip this come on but you want to put the head this one is going to go completely down here and then hold on yep put it like this but then this is where it stops because oh no you need to add a piece which i don't want to show yet because i want to show you something cool when i do the combine mode but basically this is going to be the position but there's going to be something here that comes and solidifies the whole thing all right but you do have one last thing to do and it's that one i'm going to need my not budger but my i don't know how to call it it's pince acile that's going to be the french word of the day that's a pince acile which is a you know eye plucker or whatever so there's two little tabs on the side here and come on, it's actually this is probably one of the tightest thing in the whole set so, all right so you have these uh, and this is going to be used to connect with the legs so there you go this is wwt 36 in 37 i keep saying 36 sorry 37 in crotch mode so we're going to set him aside here so tomorrow we're going to do this guy who is the right arm and i can't wait to get through this whole set so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care